Under the main line of Pokemon games, there lies a vast amount of other games known as ROM hacks and fan games. This is Pokemon Sage. It consists of a whole new region jam-packed with tons of new areas and towns to explore. The game has over 200 brand new Pokemon designs, so make sure you keep watching because some of them are really fucking cool. Anyway, let's just get into the game. Having spawned in, we go talk to our mum. She gives us the running shoes and then we head over to Professor Mangrove's lab. His lab is cold. Okay, so that's that guy. That's the grass starter. That's oh. the fire starter. That's sick. And that is the water starter. He is fucking sick, mate. I ended up choosing the water type and Django chose the grass type. Right after that, our rival challenged us to a battle and it didn't exactly go to plan. I might lose this, I can't even lie. Right. No, I, I lost. You're shit! <laughs> I lost! What the fuck? Yeah, we will never talk about that again, okay? Am I understood? Good. After being tossed and rolled by my rival, we decided to go to Route 1. Because we wanted to discover as many of the new Pokemon as we could. Encounter! Who are we getting? Bro. No way I got this guy! I got the fucking Minecraft biome Pokemon, mate. Bro, then? Ta <laughs> you can twerk in this game. It's good. What? <laughs> if you just tap the right arrow when you while holding Z, if you tap it quick enough to not start running, your guy just twerks. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, mate? <laughs> Moving on. After we encounter a handful of fucking sick Pokemon, we head over to the next area, Tremeltown. Here there was practically fuck all to do except explore the mines, so we cleared the mines and then fucked off. Coblin, mate, this guy looks sick, mate. Spends his entire life in tunnels deep underground. Because of this, it was long believed to be just a myth told by miners. Interesting. Jolly nature, that's really good. After that, we found ourselves on Route 2 and, well, it didn't go the best for me. Yeah, fuck. Ah, oh, it's done. Right. <laughs> oh, Chris, so you're so bad at the game, like, why don't you- Shut up, mate. Fuck off. Leave me alone. This time, I actually won. Anyway, victorious, we arrive in Quavertown. Well, I do, at least. I don't, I don't know where Django is. Let's check in on him. Right, fair enough. Anyway, while Django was busy having a fucking boogie, I was hacking down the trainers in the gym. And it wasn't long before I was taken on the gym leader. Hey, Foster is an old fucking grandpa, mate. I know. Don't know Absolutely. what he's being a gym leader for. Like, bro needs to, like, get his oh. pension sorted out. Woohoo, mate, this is going fucking crazy, this song. Yeah, nice damage, mate. Four damage ain't gonna save you here, pal. Bro, I actually need to stop talking too soon. Super potion, you bitch. No, wasting my time. Easy, you fire. Thunderfang? Where the fuck did I come from? Uh, uh. <laughs> right, well, I just got battered. <clears throat> Take two. Take two. <laughs> Take two. You're just fighting him straight again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> such a clown. You're gonna get fucking soloed again. <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess I just wasn't ready. So I did what any other normal human being would do, and I went and traded out my Pokemon. What? Nagi is evolving. Oh on, my and, uh... days! Wait, that fucking animation is what? What is going on there? Mate, he looks fucking sick. And now it was time for the rematch. If I lose a third time, mate, I don't know what I'll do. All sorts of things. Yeah! How does that feel now, huh? There's no way this is your ace Pokemon. Just a fucking ball. Battered. Battered. Yep, see you later. W! And just to rub some salt in my wounds, Django just had to go and do it first try, didn't he? Oh my god, I won. No way. I won. Fair fucks. Fair play. Who's the better Pokemon trainer? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll give it to you. Having both defeated the first gym, we head over to the next town, which would be known as Legato Crossroads. However, during our travels, our rival challenges us to a battle. And well, we both absolutely swept her. Rustling Forest? Mate, this is beautiful, mate. Oh my god. Yeah, the art in this game is so fucking nice, so props to whoever did it. After we scrape our way through the forest, we arrive at the crossroads. Oh my days, wait, this is such a sick little area. As we were passing through, Ricardo decided that he wanted a piece, so I had to quickly put him in his place. Professor Northington just pulled up to me. What? He specializes in studying this region's history. He's fascinated by the mythology, mate. There's a cave where the ancient people of Eurobus used to perform rituals using crystals. You want me to get you a crystal, right? Okay. Well, you better, like, fucking give me something and... Okay, fair enough. Bro, give me rock smash. Just on the spot. So I went up to the cave, completed Northington's little side quest, and then pissed off to the next town. As soon as I arrived in Dronia City, I began looking for the gym. Right, I'll get rid of it. Uh... Finally, in the next fucking city. Jesus. The Dronia City gym specializes in steel type, which is massive for me because my starter Pokemon is a fighting type, which is super effective against steel. Lucky for some, though, Django was raging about the fact that it was a steel gym. Yeah, let's all let's all troll Django. Let's make a game. Make the first two fucking gyms 
the worst possible time. <laughs> you chose it. Yeah, I didn't know what the gyms were. During Django's venting session, I was busy absolutely annihilating the gyms trainers. I had to solve the most complex puzzles of all time that I've ever seen in my life, and it was it was testing me to my limits. But eventually we made it through and I fought the gym leader. Right, let's go. Stella, bring it on, lass. See what you got. Stella opened with this behemoth Pokemon, but in the end, it was no match for me. He went down after just a few rock smashes and arm thrusts. Bad, get yourself out of here. Wow, that's a fucking steel lobster, crazy. It initially hit me with the water pulse. And at first I was laughing. I was like, what are you doing? Water on water is dumb, but it confused me. Oh, fuck. that's not good actually. Fuck. And that would ultimately lead to the downfall of this battle. Oh, that's not good, mate. That's not good. Ah, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Well, that didn't go to plan. And now it's time for the second revenge arc of the video. One, two, one more, come on. Nice, okay, right. First one down. Oh, he's one HP. No, please don't. Yes! Oh my god, 2 HP clutch! And folks, you are not ready to see this ace Pokemon, oh my god. What is that, mate? She's just thrown out a fucking factory. This could be the one. That was not the one, surely. Oh, just kill him! Yeah, it just wasn't dying, but one last arm thrust was all it would take. Let's fucking go. And that marks the end of our Pokemon Sage journey, folks. For now, at least. If you want me to do more, then just leave a comment below. You know, whilst you're down there, you can subscribe and like. You know, what? might as well. Anyway, see you guys later.